in the beginning, I, I tried to adopt abstraction because abstraction work is non-representational. So basically, you don't need to look at any source of reference or, or images. You, you just create it on the canvas by yourself and you make arrangement with the pigment. And I kind of, how can I say, submit my, succumb myself to the uh, doctrine of modernism, like medium specific, non-representational, and free from subject matters. When I entered, when I entered the, the, the final year, the four years, I have a very strong urge to do something representational. So I look at, so I start looking at my um, abstraction work, like because they, they are very bright in color because I only use primary colors. So I, I think if I, if I, if I want to paint representational, maybe I will use monochrome to highlight the polarization of the characters of the mediums. I, I did. Even though I have more of it, I'll use this. In structures, in any structure, you need the binary pair because they verify each other, they reinforce the structure. Without the binary pair, the structure will collapse. I very care about the function and meaning of the origin of the images question and change the meaning and function of images. So these images are from a passport photograph or from those set of photographs that we used to have from the pharmacy or from the from the photo booths. During the process when I painted those images I I, I realized I was trying to recapture the moment of myself in the past. I realized they all different. They all different, and even though I tried my very best to make them look identical, somehow they look different. It, of course, it, it comes down to my painting ability that I cannot. I'm not a machine. I cannot produce images that look exactly the same. But at the same time, it, it reflects the inaccuracy of our memories and unavoidable failure of, of how you interpret the past. I mean, because every time you, you remember the past, there, there's, there's either something omitting or you add on something. They're never accurate. We could be very biased about, about the past. We, we could be, oh, I, I, was, I was looking very handsome. You know? So I, I'm trying to make myself look, look very handsome. You know? Yeah, so, so that kind of bias, you know, it, it's always there. It's always there. So, so it, it, it's like our memory is, it, it's not accurate. It, it never accurate. And every time you think about the same moment, it will be, a, it, you will add on something or you will miss out, miss, miss out something. So it's basically a metaphor of life. I remember I was reading uh, the philosophical essay from uh, Albert Camus, The Myth of Sisyphus. It talked about the, the absurdity of human life, the, uh, the absurdity of we always hoping for a better future. But the fact is, we're getting older, we're getting sick, and eventually we will die. This book is basically uh, images was taken in a theater at the backstage. The photographer get access to the backstage at the last 30 minutes before the curtain rise, before the show. And I took nine images from, from this book. Even though they are kind of ready-made images, you know, they, they are already there. The original idea of these images were to show people the psychologies of those actors and actresses. I crop the images. I don't show the full image. I kind of cut them in half. Most importantly, I don't 
allow you to see the facial expression. So I took half the images from from this book, the half, to make the half images, and then you have to the viewer have to come in to complete the other half. So you become the half as well. My representational work a kind of personal personal intensive in monochrome and kind of very dear to, to me very in it's, it's, it's about me it's, it it's a inward looking kind of works rather than my web abstraction work is kind of open to, to, to the outside my representation work is kind of looking inside to myself kind of the inward looking kind of, so so that I can highlight the polarization of, of, of both my abstraction and my representational work.